Welcome back to another video by Mr. Project. In this video, you're about to see this car get primed. So let's get stuck into it and kick it off right now. Mixer up, Gary. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. I know this is a little bit random. We're halfway through a painting video. It's now Friday. We did this on Tuesday night and it is, there goes a screwdriver. It is all looking very nice. We're gonna have to 240 the whole car, but moving away from that, I went out 
and purchased myself a Turbo Smart FPR 800 fuel rig because the Chinese copy that I put on there, that one just there, is absolutely crap. I shouldn't have bought the China copy. I should have just bought a genuine one. I was being tight because these are 250 bucks, but it comes with the gauge and we're gonna open that up and we're gonna have a quick look at that. I'm gonna install that and I also have this other really cool thing that I wanna show you. This is a 3D printed gauge holder. It is made by Aiden Donald. His details are up on the screen now. If you, if you want one of these, hit him up and go and get yourself one because this is actually a very good product, Australian made, support Australian business. That's how it looks. You just set it in and they're all sort of on a different angle. So when you're the driver, all the gauges will be facing you as well, which is also another really good thing. So today, I'm gonna to wire this and I'm gonna put all the wires inside here. We're gonna have one little hole on the back here with a vacuum line, a positive and a negative coming out of the back. Keep it nice and tidy, keep all the mess inside here. Let's get stuck into it. That's how all the gauges sit. So we're gonna wire them all up and we're gonna get them mounted back in. I now have it set up, just hooked into a cordless battery and that is what it's gonna look like. And you can change the colors, whatever color you want. I think that's pretty cool. Well, I've decided not to film me blocking the car, but this is how much I've got done. So this is about how much I've got done yesterday. I've done the rear quarter, the boot, the roof. This rear quarter, that door, so I've still got a fair bit to do. So I'll check back in when I've made a bit of progress. What is that? <laughs> what, what's on the back of your head? Hey? What is on the back of your head? Oh, uh, you know. What is it? Male herpes. It's a bit of leukemia, mate. No, make fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> We've now finished sanding the car, but we still have to 400 the car, and then we're gonna 800 it, and then it will be ready for paint. But we've done our first guide coat and we've 240'd the whole car and it's turned out really good. There's only a couple of little repairs to do. There's one down there that you can't really see on the mould. There was another one inside this bumper, which is uh, all drying. Um, and the rest of the car's looking pretty good. We've just got to repair this because this is all over the place. There is a dent there, you can see. A couple of little tiny repairs to do. But majority of it is done. So hopefully on the next episode, this car will be in the paint booth. This is what I'm aiming for. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up, comment, and I'll uh, 
probably catch you on the next one. Until then, see you later.